Hey friends, the 90s are back in full force. I feel like I'm reliving my early teens all over again and I'm not even mad about it. It's Tuesday and you know what time it is. It's time to chat about new releases. So if that sounds good to you, if you're not subscribed already, highly recommend doing so. And if you're wondering who I am, my name is Karen Harris. I like to film tan girl friendly makeup videos. Today we're chatting about all the new makeup that has been announced. Some of it I have here with me, so without further blabbering, give this video a thumbs up and let's get into it. Okay friends, so it's episode 20 of new makeup releases. I'm so excited. I mentioned this a few episodes back that I've been filming new makeup releases, will I buy it videos for seven years now. I haven't counted how many episodes, but it's such a fun way to talk about new releases without actually buying any makeup, which is what inspired me to start the series on my channel. Definitely was very inspired by Kimberly Clark and her anti-haul series, as well as Samantha March and her Will I Buy It series. So yeah, it's kind of wild to sit back and think about it. It's like we're creating memories, a little bit of history. Anyways, there's some good stuff. There's some good stuff and I'm ready to chat about it. So let's go ahead and talk really quickly about a launch that I have with me. This is available now for pre-order from Simply Posh Cosmetics. They make these really cool palettes, especially if you're into like gradients. I know some people love chaotic layouts and you know shadows everywhere doesn't matter if it's light to dark or whatever they thrive on that chaos but there's some people out there that love a palette that is arranged from light to dark or there's a row of mattes then a row of shimmers like they like that cohesion and if that's your vibe you might really enjoy this brand so this is simply posh cosmetics they've had a bunch of other palettes before but this is their newest palette the Coastal Palette, and I really like this one. It is available for pre-order. It's set to ship in July. They also have pre-orders open for two other palettes of theirs, but this is the new one, and it's super duper pretty. I think it's like a neutral palette with a pop of blue, and these shimmers are exquisite, so I had a lot of fun creating a look with this palette. Definitely want to create some more as well. And I just wanted to mention it to you guys that it is available now. So I always list everything I'm talking about in my videos in a pinned comment. So if you want to find this brand, go ahead and check out the pinned comment. Also, if you're wondering what is on my eyes today, I think this is so funny. But I just posted my anti-haul, I think on like... Saturday or Friday, I can't quite remember, but I had filmed a March and April anti-haul at the very start of the month of May, and it's taken me pretty much the whole month to sit and edit it. So in that video, I talk about this collection and how I didn't buy it, and I was like, how much changes in a matter of weeks? Because this collection ended up being on sale, and then I really wanted to try the new liquid eyeshadows from Melt Cosmetics. So I ended up placing a Melt order. I bought these two liquid shadows and then they had some kind of deal going on because it was their birthday or something. And so I got everything half off that was like part of the older collections. So I'm actually wearing the Smoke Sessions 2 palette on my eyes. And in case you're wondering what that beautiful vibrant green shade is, it's their gel liner in the shade Afterlife. So I got a steal of a deal on these products and I don't always film my eye looks for videos when I'm doing new makeup releases but I've been kind of sitting down with my camera and filming the look so that'll be live maybe tomorrow hopefully I'll get it edited but I did film like a testing new makeup video with that melt stuff as well as the new Kosas blushes so yeah something to look forward to that'll be testing new makeup episode 21 so Busy, busy, busy over here at Karen Harris Makeup Headquarters. Anyway, I like to show you guys anything new that I have with me, tell you a little bit about what is on my eyes. Now we're going to go ahead and slide on over so we can talk about the new releases. So I feel like the first thing we definitely need to talk about is the new launch from Glam Light. So this is now available. I know that this collection was revealed, I feel like, right after I filmed my new makeup releases right? I don't think I was able to talk about it last week, but this is the Fresh Prince and Glam Light collection, so definitely was a part of my youth. I definitely remember watching the show with my parents. I can't tell you, like, 
each moment. Like, I'm not that kind of fan, but it's definitely, like, brings me warms and fuzzies in my soul because I remember this show. I remember watching The Nanny with my parents. I also used to watch Bold and the Beautiful with my mom and then another core memory of shows that I watched with my parents was definitely The Gilmore Girls and like I remember going to my first movie with them at the movie theater, saw Jurassic Park as a child, was completely terrified but I remember this stuff like it's so funny to think about like now that I have my own children but anyways this is the freshest collection and this is Fresh Prince and Glam Light so they have an eyeshadow palette and let's go ahead and just like talk about each thing because I haven't had a chance to like break it all down with you guys. I ended up purchasing the entire collection because honestly Glamlight has done a really good job pricing their stuff. So this entire collection with the PR box I believe was under $100 which I feel like is really nice. And then we have the palette so each piece of the collection we have the palette which looks really fun and neon-y. I've watched all my friends videos on the collection. I know Allie posted, Angie posted, and Heather posted so it's been fun to see them create looks and I don't know this palette just gave me like Urban Decay electric palette vibes so I was kind of curious because I don't know that I have like a 15 pan palette that is this bright in my collection off the top of my head. So I'm very, very excited, very, very hopeful that this is going to pop on my skin tone. There's also a highlighter palette, which I'm not really into colorful highlighters. So when I was watching their videos, I was like, maybe I made a mistake buying the entire collection. Like, just because it's affordable doesn't mean I need to, like, do that. So I don't know if I'm going to, like, swatch everything or maybe I'll put them in my monthly giveaway for you guys. Somebody else can enjoy some parts of this collection. So... There is a highlighter palette. The lashes, I feel like a lot of people from what I've seen have said they're a little over the top. So I think maybe I might put the lashes in my giveaway as well so somebody else can enjoy them. I'm not saying this is for sure, but I feel like I would rather somebody get use out of it, if you know what I mean. And then also the glosses look very pinky. So again, I should have probably thought this through. I probably should have just gone for the eyeshadow palette, but... I ended up getting the whole collection because I was like in the moment. I was super excited for Glam Light. So yeah, I don't know. What are you guys feeling like? I feel like when I first started playing with Glam Light, which was honestly, I even have had their first ever palette. I think it was called like the Masterpiece palette. And I've like bought most of their palettes since then. But now they're on like a different level because they're like blowing up on TikTok. And I don't know if they've just, like, lost their shine on YouTube. I feel like they're not as hyped on YouTube as they used to be. So I would love to hear what you guys think about that. Like, I feel like people are generally less interested in glam light nowadays. But I could be wrong. Maybe this is the one collection that speaks to you. But I'm excited. Nostalgia definitely got me there. Okay, so we have lots to chat about as far as new releases go. So the first thing I want to talk to you guys about is definitely the new summer launch from Fenty Beauty. I really like brands doing releases every season, but not always focusing on like eyeshadow. And I feel like a lot of mainstream brands don't really focus on eyeshadow. These, I was just like, oh, don't make me pick because if you've been watching me since the Sephora sale, I've been obsessed with the highlighters that Fenty came out with. And this is the shade Yum Rum. It's been a staple on my makeup desk. It just has the most beautiful lit from within sheen. So I love it so much. And then when I saw these ones, this is their bronzed all over summer collection. And they came available last week and I was like... I don't know, I kind of feel like I want all of them, so I did end up buying all three. I'm very excited. I will definitely keep you guys posted on if they're all the same or if, you know, you can just get one and get away with it. They also launch lip oils. I thought these looked interesting. I was curious. I was like, should I get a lip oil? And then I was like, eh, I'm okay. So I did skip the lip oils. They also came out with two liquid eyeliners, $24 each. They're more like bronzy shades. And it's definitely probably catering to the no makeup to makeup girlies. But you know me, I love makeup, more makeup, and more makeup. So I don't really need a glitter 
liquid liner so I skipped on that but you guys know there is a blush demon that lives inside of me and so I bought all three of the blushes because I could not say no this is another product that I was like I hate this product I think it's so overhyped but uh, Summer Fridays is coming out with a iced coffee flavor of their lip balm and I was like <laughs> say less say less I am actually shocked that more brands don't do coffee flavored lip balms like the more I thought about it I'm like why aren't there like lipsticks glosses lip oils that are coffee flavored that seems like such a rookie move so I'm about to embrace this iced coffee flavored lip balm I'm really hoping that I like it. I know the 10 year olds at Sephora are just ready to pounce on these Summer Friday lip masks, but you best believe I have my reminder turned on and I'm gonna be on the Sephora website buying myself that lip balm as soon as it launches. Okay, next, I'm so excited about this from Lethal Cosmetics. I think they just sent it to me in PR, so hopefully I can get something up before the launch, but Lethal is collaborating with Avatar The Last Airbender, and you might think I'm excited because I'm a Airbender fan, but that is not the case. I'm excited because this collection looks amazing. There's four eyeshadow palettes. I was watching their reveal video, and there's a Earth palette that has the most beautiful shade of jade green in it. And I literally, in my mind, when I saw that color, I was like, I need that shade. I just kept thinking in my head, like, I will not rest until I have that green. So that's the palette I'm most excited for. The, the other three palettes also look lovely, but you guys know me. I am a green lover at heart, so I can't wait to see these in person. They also have some beautiful liquid liners. There is a beautiful like cream eyeshadow that they have there's also a beautiful highlighter they've got this really cute makeup sponge that's a cabbage they've got these beautiful lippies i don't know if i'm gonna get everything i think i saw my friend angie said that she didn't get the lippies in her package so i don't know what i'm getting but i'm super excited for this and i'm not an airbender fan so i apologize in advance for anyone that i offend i'm gonna do my best to you know convey as much information as I can about the collection but I'm just genuinely as like a makeup lover interested in these palettes because the colors just look so freaking cool especially the green one and I did see this is coming to camera ready cosmetics as well so this collection launches on Friday and it'll be what time did they say it'll be 4 p.m. Central Eastern Standard Time which is 10 a.m. Eastern time so that'll be 9 a.m. Central time which is my time zone so definitely make sure you guys are ready to go I do have a non affiliate code with lethal cosmetics it's just cage makeup and I'm very excited congratulations to lethal on this awesome launch I feel like my childhood is just all the rage these days there is a Ninja Turtle collaboration I am a Ninja Turtle stan. I definitely identify as Michelangelo. I had a Michelangelo birthday cake for my sixth birthday. I was so proud of that thing. So this is celebrating 40 years of the Ninja Turtles. Kawabunga, baby. I'm so excited. This is so cute. So this is their eyeshadow palette. They've got a handheld mirror, a illuminating jelly set. That's cool. That's so cool. A lash set and the eyeshadow palette. I low-key wouldn't hate getting my hands on that eyeshadow palette, especially because I love Profusion so much and their eyeshadows are actually decent quality. Yeah, I just think it's so cool. The other day, I had my Wet n Wild and Sesame Street brushes out and I was going to wash them. And of course, my kids got a hold of them and now they're their brushes. But it's so fun to see like these little things from... My childhood come back. It's so exciting. Okay, Gisu is at it again. They're trying to get my money. This is their hydrating lip oil in coconut frost. And I know they're supposed to be coming out with some like nude shades. And I've been I've been low-key like creeping on the Sephora app because I'm a little bit interested. 
This one looks cute too. Also, coconut is just like one of my favorite flavors. So this is cute. I mean, I feel like the girlies, the girlies are probably ready to go. I've been trying to be good, but I don't know. I don't know. I just feel like I don't need it because I didn't like the original, but sometimes these colors just get me. Okay, next we have from e.l.f. This is a new launch that's been spotted at Target stores. It's a Sun Boss Gloss SPF 25 sunscreen. I've never had a sunburn on my lips, but I'm sure it's a thing that happens to people. I could see myself buying this like brown terracotta shade just because it's a beautiful shade. If I do end up spotting that at a Target, I could definitely see myself grabbing one. We also have a new body wash revealed from Rare Beauty. So this is the Daily Revitalizing Body Wash with a jelly formula that lathers to a milky, creamy texture. I'm super excited for them to come out with more body care products. The Rare Beauty like lotion smells amazing. I really hate the packaging. I would love for them to repackage the lotion into a squeezy tube like this because it's like so hard to get out of the packaging. Other than that, it smells wonderful and this looks so luxurious. The fragrance notes are lemon zest, rhubarb, and pomelo, so that sounds delicious. I didn't get the Rare Beauty like minis. I know some people got like a little PR set with those. I... I'm thinking that I'm still on the PR list. I don't know. I definitely don't see myself like running to Sephora to buy a $24 body wash. But listen, if, you know, a really um, wealthy, unknown relative passes away and like leaves their entire fortune to me, I might start shopping for more expensive body care. I, I can't neither confirm nor deny but if they were to leave me a sizable fortune, I, I could potentially buy more makeup I, I, or maybe save it. I don't know. Who knows? Anyway, okay. Moving on. We have a new creaseless under eye loose setting powder from Tarte. So this is a smoothing outlook for... What? Who writes this stuff? For under eyes and leaving you camera ready with puff for precise... With puff... Oh, with a puff. Okay. For precise application. In the inner corner and under the lower lash line for creaseless appearance. $36, 10 shades. So that's cute. I do have a few powders. I did just pick up the one size powder, so I've been testing that one out. I don't feel like I need any more powders at this moment, so I'm going to go ahead and pass on that. But I just want to mention Tarte has a new powder. We also have a new collection from Pat McGrath. So I had guessed it was a lip product, but I had said like plumping lip glosses but we're actually getting mega lip pencils so these are a lipstick with the convenience of a pencil the slim tip allows you to define shade and shape your lips weightless feel that's long lasting non-drying comfortable 12 shades $29 each so these look cute I think the brighter colors are just a little appealing right now because it is summertime these are launching on the 31st there is one nude shade that looks like a more mustardy color that's sort of interesting. I'm not sure if that's just like the lighting of the picture because when I look at the swatches, maybe it's like shade number seven. It's the color called Nude Oasis. I'll have to do some digging. It's been a long time since I bought a Pat McGrath product at launch. Like I remember the days when I'd actually get excited about that, but Right now, I'm not really very excited about a lot of the things that she's launching. So, yeah, I'll definitely check it out, but I can't say that I'm going to buy this right when it launches. Oh my gosh, I just realized that I took my earrings off because I had to stop filming and I forgot to put them back on. Oh well, I'm too lazy to put them on and I didn't really like them that much anyway, so there's that. Anyway, okay, let's go here. Where are we at? We've got a sneak peek of... R.E.M. and Wicked the movie collabing so it's just like a greeny box with some flowers on it. I know that there is like a cult following for the movie Wicked so I'm sure people are gonna like lose their mind over that and yeah it'll be cool it'll be cool. Uh, I feel like it's too soon to talk about it though. 
Okay, next we have a new Black Honey color. This is the Pop Lip Cheek Oil in Black Honey. So I will say the other day I was watching TikTok, which I don't do very often, and somebody was applying the shade Black Honey and it looked so beautiful on them. It actually made me wonder if I should go get it because it's such a cult classic. I feel like it's been around for years and years and years. I've heard this on my channel in the comment section every time Clinique comes out with a new version of it. So I feel like I never actually thought about it seriously until I saw it. And I was like, oh, that's actually kind of pretty. Like, I get it. So anyway, I feel like this shade is pretty good at looking nice on most skin tones. I don't want to say it's universal, but I feel like they kind of promote it as being a very universally flattering shade, which I won't say that's the case, but I think it's fun that they're trying a lip and cheek oil, so I'm not probably going to go buy it, but it looks very interesting. We have a lip pencil from Maybelline. It's kind of giving me the packaging of the e.l.f. lip liners vibe, so I mean, nothing wrong with some healthy competition in the drugstore, so very, very curious. I will say the e.l.f. lip liners, though, they're like $2, and they're really quite good. I like the formula because they're very, like, glidey. I know that's not for everyone, but personally, I do really like them, so it'll be pretty hard for them to compete with $2, but I will definitely keep my eye out if I end up seeing them in the drugstore. I might pick them up. Okay, next I had a few things saved on my folder that I wanted to just chat with you guys about. One of the things is the new launches from Clarity. They have a few palettes coming out. They're all kind of like water themed. So there's Murmurizing, there's Return to the Sea, and I think there's one more. I can't quite see it because of how fast the video is moving. But one is more like lighter shades and then they have like a more deeper shade palette and then they have the murmurizing palette. So I'm very excited to see. I feel like I'm still quite new to Clarity because they're making a lot of changes. So I'm curious to see where they go next and I'm always wondering if they have continued to improve on like customer service and stuff. I know they've hired somebody to do like their social media so you know it's good to see brands making positive changes for themselves and I of course always want to know from you guys if you've seen any changes or improvements as well. Next from DD Signature they're launching something new it's the most vibrant collection yet. It looks like we have some colorful eyeshadow bases and I'm totally here for it because I want to get better at eyeshadow. I want some more colorful bases so I'm excited to see what DD has in store for us. We also have these liquid shadows, the Blossom Longwear Liquid Eyeshadows from Florasis. These look beautiful. They have some really fun colors, a few unexpected shades like greens and blues and a minty shade. So yeah, I'm very, very curious about those and would definitely like to try them out. So I'll have to see if I can find those. We also have Unearthly showing some new magnetic palettes. So pretty. I don't know if these are coming soon or they're out or what the plan is, but I will definitely let you guys know as soon as I hear something. We also have these liquid and lip products from Wet n Wild. So these are the Mega Glow Lip and Cheek colors. So I guess lip and cheek like multi-use products in these like liquid forms are very popular again. So we have Coral Dream, Rosy Romance, and Very True. They look super duper cute. I don't see myself purchasing, but yeah, I'm excited to have more options, especially at the drugstore. Okay, we have a sneak peek from Huda Beauty. I'm not really sure what this is, but it says dripping soon June 7th, and it's like peachy. So I wonder if they're going to do a liquid blush as well. I'm definitely very curious about that. I'm so excited for these little refi sets. These are the Summer Color Lip and Cheek Collections. I saw these on Sephora and I was like immediately yes because of course you can see there's like a corally one. And uh, yeah, I've never tried anything from refi. I've heard their cream blushes are really good. So this set is definitely add to cart for me. I have it on my loves list and I am so ready for it. 
We also had a new drop of singles from Terra Moon. These are the Cosmic Fairy Lights collection. 14 brand new mesmerizing single shadows. And as always, these look stunning. I have a few friends that receive these products in PR and it's always very tempting. I'm trying to be good though because I'm trying not to buy too many single shadows. We also have this launch from Electrum. This is the Midnight Moth. And I think I saw, at least I know I saw Heather had gotten this palette and had showed this palette on their stories. So I'll have to keep an eye out. I've heard good things about the brand. I just haven't like bit the bullet. And I know a while ago I got a comment from somebody and I meant to do kind of like a chatty video about this but I just haven't had the time. But somebody left me a comment saying like, do you ever do videos about brands that you don't get like PR from or like don't have a code with or something? It was, it was a, it was an interesting comment. And of course, like I'm a human being. I'm not like super sensitive to my YouTube comments, but sometimes I can be. And I was just like immediately a little bit taken aback and I felt kind of like I had done something wrong because I am a very passive aggressive person. So I don't like like confrontation and so I was taken aback at first and my immediate instinct when somebody confronts me with something is apologize even if I don't think I did something wrong so obviously I was like okay and then I was thinking about it and I was like well yes I feel like I do a lot of stuff with brands that want to work with me but I don't think there's necessarily anything wrong with that and I feel like also for the longest time before I got things in PR I would spend my own money to buy a lot of stuff and I've bought so much from different indie brands so I have a good idea of what I like and what I'm keen on and what brands I really like I've really honed that in over the last 10 years so if it doesn't seem like I'm buying from a lot of brands, it's only because, well, first of all, the main reason is because I don't work outside of YouTube at the moment. And it's really hard to call YouTube my job because there are creators that stay at home with their kids or they stay at home and they do this full time. But I don't do it like a business. Like I do, but I also don't. I'm not at the level of a lot of creators that do this as their full time job that are paying their bills with their YouTube money. I'm more so like using my YouTube money to buy more makeup to review or I like spend it on like little things like, you know, I buy my kids stuff or like I use it to buy my spouse a gift or if I wanna like treat myself to something like that's what I use my YouTube money for. I'm not like saving or making enough money on YouTube where I can go ahead and start my own makeup line or take us all on vacation to like Turks and Caicos or buy myself a house like that's not the level I'm at on YouTube so all of that to say it's not my full-time like income so I can't just buy everything like I used to and it seems like I have a lot of eyeshadow palettes but a lot of the other stuff that I test out I do buy I'm lucky to be on enough PR lists where I feel like I get a decent amount of eyeshadow palettes to test out but anything I'm buying like from Sephora and stuff, I'm not getting for free. So I do spend a lot of money. I think I've just spent it now on different things like my other products, not eyeshadow, but my lipsticks, my bronzers, everything else I'm testing out. And also I've been very transparent with you guys that I had used my YouTube money to pay for my creators and friends trips. So yeah, still feel like I'm recovering from that. And then on top of all of that, I feel like there's just been like a slowdown in people buying makeup or at least using my codes and links to shop so I'm not like making the most and I just feel like there's more creators in the indie sphere now so I think everybody has, did I say sphere? I meant sphere and I feel like now you know consumers have more options of who they want to watch, who they want to support which is totally fine so yeah I was a little bit taken aback by that comment and then I was like you know it's not really like I'm trying to only show things that I have discount codes with or stuff like that with like today I'm wearing the milk palette like I did buy this with my own money so I guess I could call it a self-sponsored review I don't know but yeah 
I don't know, I'm in a bit of a mood. I'm a little sleepy. I'm a little tired. I think that I'm going to slide on back and end this video. So I feel like there's probably going to be a lot of interesting things to chat about next week. I feel like because it's a holiday weekend, it's a little bit slow. But that's all right. I'm definitely looking forward to my Glam Light and Fresh Prince collection getting here. Also for the Lethal stuff, the Airbender stuff to get here. So yeah, I'm sure I'll be busy as always. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Let me know what new launches you are most excited about. Thank you for hanging with me. Sorry if my energy is low. I'm feeling like I need a little bit of caffeine right now. But I hope you're having a wonderful day. And I will see you in another video very, very soon. Bye, friends!